Hello guys, welcome to the first video on MongoDB tutorial for beginners. Now let's see the brief introduction of MongoDB before we will uh, try to install MongoDB on our Windows operating system. So what is MongoDB? MongoDB is a document oriented no SQL database. That means it's not a relational database, it's a non-relational database. Now what is the difference between relational database and non-relational database? Or we can say what is the difference between uh, no SQL database and SQL database? Now SQL database, for example MySQL or PostgreSQL has a relational database format. For example, they have uh, tables, columns and rows which are related to each other, right? But in NoSQL database, these, uh, you know, collections or uh, you, these data are not related with each other and they are non-relational, right? Now MongoDB is a schema-free database and it's based on binary JSON format. And this special format is called BSON in which B stands for uh, binary and SON comes from JSON. Now MongoDB organizes itself in a group of documents which are called collections, right? And using MongoDB auto sharding in order to you know scale horizontally is easier. And this is the advanced feature which we are going to see later. And MongoDB uses query language which is a simple query language and it has a rich document based query which is little bit different from your normal uh, you know relational database queries and it's uh, open source database right now let's see what is the difference between mongodb versus some uh, relational databases so as i already told you that mongodb uses collection versus the table so in uh, normal relational databases something like mysql or other sql database they use as tables but in mongodb instead of tables we use collections right and now inside these collection we have documents instead of rows right so in the relational database if you know that every table can contain multiple columns and rows we have the replacement of row in no sql database or mongodb specially which is document okay so collection is like a table document is like a row and field is like a column okay so instead of using table row and column terminology we are going to use collection document and field right and collection isn't strict about what goes inside it like your uh, normal uh, you know relational database it's a little bit strict uh, what should go inside it but this collection isn't uh, so strict and it's schema less okay so this is uh, a small brief introduction about mongodb now let's uh, download mongodb on our windows operating system and let's uh, dive more into mongodb so open your favorite browser and search for uh, mongodb and the first link which will appear here will be from mongodb.org just click this link and in here you will be able to see two buttons one is download mongodb another is uh, mongodb cloud manager we want to uh, click this button which is download mongodb and in here you can uh, see there are different variants of uh, you know downloads available for linux mac os and solaris we want to download it for windows operating system and in here they have uh, different flavors you can see here we want to uh, download it for the 64-bit operating system so we will just leave it as default and then click download now save uh, this uh, msi file anywhere wherever you want to save it and once it's saved we will be uh, ready to uh, install mongodb on our windows operating system 
So now this MSI file is downloaded. So I'm going to click this MSI file and I'm going to minimize my browser. And now you can see this Windows installer is starting and you just need to click next here and you just need to uh, agree with the license terms and conditions and then click next and you just need to uh, you know choose this complete option and then click install okay and now it's going to uh, install mongodb on your uh, windows operating system and in few seconds mongodb will be installed and now you can see mongodb is installed on our windows operating system so we can just click finish now let's see where uh, this mongodb is installed on our uh, windows operating system so open your uh, folder explorer and go into c uh, directory here and in here go to program files and the program files you will be able to uh, find this mongodb folder and inside this mongodb folder click on server and then the version 3.2 and you will be able to see uh, this bin folder here right and in here you can see a bunch of executable file now there are two executable files which are of interest for us one is mongo.exe and other is mongod.exe now mongod is a mongo daemon which is going to run in the background and it's going to accept the connection from mongodb so it's a background process right and this mongo.exe is a command line shell from which you are going to work with your database so in order to work with mongodb you just need to run mongod which is mongo daemon in the background and then you can open uh, mongo shell to work with your databases right now let's uh, see how we can uh, open uh, this uh, mongod in the command prompt so what you can do is you can right click on your start menu and open the command prompt and then you can uh, you know go or browse to this path which is up to this bin folder or otherwise the uh, short cut for uh, you know opening this folder is hold your shift key so just hold your shift key and then right click your mouse and then you will be able to see this open command window here so you can just click this and it's going to open the command window in this folder and then in here you just need to run mongod first so just write mongod.exe and then press enter and it's going to uh, you know give you this error and let's see what this error is so you can see uh, it says c colon slash uh, data slash db not found so in order to work with uh, mongodb you need to have uh, this kind of folder structure in your c drive which is data slash db so we are going to create this these uh, folders inside our c drive so open folder explorer once again go to your uh, c drive and then create a new folder here and we are going to name it as data and go inside this data folder and create a new folder which we are going to name it as db okay so data and db okay so you need to have this kind of folder structure in order to uh, you know work with uh, mongodb which is c data and db okay so once you are uh, done with this you can run this uh, mongod command once again so mongod.exe and press enter and now you can see mongod is running you can uh, just click allow access from here and then you can see this is ready to take the connection so i'm going to maximize it and you can see waiting for connections right now what we are going to do next is we are going to open one more terminal to uh, you know open this mongo.exe uh, file okay 
So once again, go to this folder, bin folder inside MongoDB, right click. Before right click, you need to press shift. So shift and then right click and then open command window here once again. And I'm going to maximize it. This is our previous shell and this is our new. So in here, we are going to once again run mongod.exe and press enter. And now you can see here connection accepted here, right? So when you, uh, you know, uh, run this mongod exe is going to uh, you know open this uh, kind of interface and now from this interface you can uh, connect to your databases and from this this is running in the background this other uh, you know command prompt which runs mongod.exe right so it's taking the connection and for testing it for example we will just type here db and press enter and you can see we have a sample database here, which is called test. Okay. So this is all about installation of MongoDB. In the next video, we will learn more about MongoDB. So stay tuned and please write, comment, subscribe and bye for now.